explain something. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Um, hope the wait wasn't too long. Yeah, no, it's been almost four weeks since I've uploaded a video. Um, as most of you know, you know, I am back um, in school. Um, and things were a little hectic at first when I got back, you know, I had to go through a two week quarantine process. I mean, which was okay at first, but um, you know, being inside is isn't always great <laughs> um and i was mostly busy you know with just getting things ready for school and also just assignment after assignment <laughs> um even though my tuesdays and thursdays are free you know i'm still um having a a, a bit of a workload um to handle with uh, but it's okay so far um and i am gonna be honest you know i have been kind of slacking off lately um but that's just because i have a lot of new things planned um, if you didn't tell about the video or if you follow me on Instagram, I did indeed pick up the Polaroid or well not the Polaroid Excuse me. Uh, the mint SLR 670s, which is right here So I got this um, Last week, which is February 15th now um, So I picked this up last week. Um, I ordered it the week before and I am so excited to have this camera because it is my dream camera. Um, ever since I started shooting with uh, Polaroid back in 2017, um, I've always known the SLR um, was a thing and I've always wanted it. Um, yeah, so I, I kind of just, you know, worked my way up, you know, started with the iType camera, the 600, Spectra, um, then the SX70, and now I finally have the Mint SLR 670S. Um, so this is what I'm gonna shoot with today and, and I'm gonna do everything with this camera I'm gonna show you everything about this camera um, And that's basically it as for the intro. So if you've been shooting with Polaroid for um, quite a while now either maybe a couple of years um, Then you probably know that Mint is um, a company that makes cameras such as this one um, Yeah, the SLR 670s is probably you know what they're mostly known for, but also they have other cameras um, that, you, that you can use Instax on. Um, but I'm more fond of the SLR 670S. I don't shoot much Instax. Um, I haven't really taken an interest in it yet, but uh, maybe sometime later I'll probably get into it. Um, I probably just need a little bit of guidance. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so the main thing about this uh, camera is actually this little guy right here. This is the Mint Time Machine. Um, and this basically uh, makes your Polaroid camera a lot more manual. <laughs> um, manual as in you can control your shutter speeds. By doing this right here, you see this little guy has numbers on top. These are your shutter speeds, everything from a B mode, which is you hold your finger down on the shutter and it keeps the lens open. Uh, T mode, which is you press the shutter once, lens stays open for as long as you want. And then you press it again, then the picture comes out. And then you have your, you know, your basic shutter speeds to half of a second all the way to two thousandths of a second. Um, and it does have a A100 mode, which is auto six, um, auto 160 mode, um, which is for your Polaroid SX70 film. You know, if you're if you want to get a quick shot without having to meter, um, then you can just use the A100 mode. Um, it also has an A600 mode, which is for 600 film. Um, yeah, you can use 600 film in here, um, and you can just do that as well because, you know, 600 film has some uh, limited edition uh, film sometimes. Yeah, it, it does. Uh, well, Polaroid's mostly making uh, special edition for iType. Not sure why they're doing that, but <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, you can use 600, 600 film in here and also SX70 film. You have your shutter speeds and everything, and it's overall just a really good camera and quality wise as well. Um, yeah, this is actually their special edition because I really like <laughs> the noir um, build to it, with, especially with this um, little gold part right there. Um, and yeah, that's basically everything there is about this camera. Um, I could definitely, there's more to it actually, but um, I'm not really good at explaining things if you guys know my past videos, but I do try my best. So yeah, um, 
another person who I know who pay, also picked up the SLR 670 recently is Matt Day. If you guys don't know who Matt Day is, um, you should get your life together. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, no, he's another uh, film photographer, or well, photographer just in general. Um, he's a really awesome guy. He makes YouTube videos on cameras um, and also some projects he's been working on. He does a lot of things. Um, I definitely, I definitely recommend you guys go check him out. He's an awesome guy. You know, he's a, he's a husband. He's a father. Um, he's a photographer, but he's also much more than that. You know, he's a person. He's, he's someone who cares a lot about the film community and just overall life. <laughs> um, yeah, I've been following his work for the past two years, um, and I've definitely looked up to him. You know, he's one of my big inspirations for all things film photography um, and he's had an influence on me to buy the SLR 670S. <laughs> um, he's made a video about it. I'll also link that in the description um, and I'll also link his channel and his Instagram or I can put it right here one of these corners I forget which one um, but yeah definitely go check him out and tell him I sent you. So with all that out of the way you know full manual control over your shutter speeds has a fixed aperture of 8 and you can use both SX70 film and 600 film. That's everything you need to know about the camera. Um, it's an SLR, you know, you get to see what you're gonna get, take a picture of, um, and it's overall good quality. Uh, I definitely recommend it. Um, I've actually been thinking about this for a really long time. And, you know, once I saw that Matt Day got the SLR 670S and after talking to some people, I was like, Fuck it, let's do it. <laughs> uh, and once I got it, you know, I was really surprised about everything about it, the build, and I'm getting a FaceTime call right now. Hello? Like oh. it's snowing, like snowing, snowing. Yeah, it's snowing bad. I'm well, not bad, but yeah. Well, you caught me in the middle of a YouTube video. Say hi to YouTube, me. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> You're on the screen. This is my friend, Bay. So I'm gonna be headed back to the studio with my film. Actually, I'm gonna load this in right now. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go back into the studio, the lighting room, and set up some lights, and I can take some portraits of my friend May, who you guys just saw just now. <laughs> um, and I can really put the mid SLR 670 to its full potential. Um, so let me just load up the film right now. All right, let's get to it. All right, so after about 12 minutes of setting up my lighting, <laughs> I was finally able to get it, and so now we can start shooting with the mint. Uh, so I have my friend May here to help me out, and I'm gonna take her portraits for her. So I already loaded up my film and everything, and yeah, let's get right to it. All right, so we have May here for the portraits. Um, so on this side, I have my main light source. You can't see it, but... <laughs> and on this side, I have sort of like a fill light, so there won't be too many shadows on her face. Um, just to film, yeah, just to film those shadows. Um, so unfortunately, I don't have enough for an actual light meter, so I'm just gonna be using my phone, um, which works fine for these past six packs that I've been using. So I'm gonna take the first shot now. So I have all my settings already on my phone ready to go, so all I gotta do is just... Three, two, stop. There it is. Three, two... Remember you gotta wait for that second. I know. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah, close your eyes. Okay. And then lower your arms if you your like arms. Like this. And just let Lucy know.
repeat, but I'm probably just going to push it to one third. Oh, man. Shoot, I know. <laughs> as soon as I clicked, I saw your eyes go down. <laughs> All right, we just got done shooting all eight pictures, and I'm really satisfied by all the results. They all look really good, um, considering this is like my actual first time doing like a photo shoot of something um, with the Polaroid camera. Well, I, I did um, some like shoots with my other friends, but as for like studio lightings and studio setups, this is actually my first time doing this, and I'm actually surprised that I actually pulled it off. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, you know, this camera um, and how it functions. Um, I hope I shed some light to it and I hope that um, it inspired you to look more into this camera. Um, whether you're you know, a first shooter of Polaroid, beginning shooter, or someone who's been shooting for a while and who has been wanting to get one, I fully recommend it. Um, I love this camera. <laughs> um, this isn't sponsored by the way, so this is coming from my heart. So. I guess that's pretty much it for this video. So yeah, in two days is coming up my one year anniversary of being on YouTube. Um, I'll try to get something out. I have a, something planned for it. Um, but this isn't going to be the last time you're going to see this camera. I'll be doing more um, photo shoots with it, um, with different people, different lighting situations and all that. Um, and so yeah, I definitely want to explore a lot more with this camera. And yeah, I'll be able to show all of you guys. So with all that said, you know, like comment subscribe do whatever you want you don't have to no one's forcing you uh, <laughs> i hope you guys have a good day good evening good night good morning wherever or whenever you're watching this i just hope you're all safe so i'll see you guys in the next one and peace out